what's up? It's Kay Jones here, and I'm going to be showing you the tree patches in RuneScape. First, I'm going to be going over the regular trees. If you don't know what I'm talking about, basically, trees, they're like oak, willow, maple, yew, magic, depending on your uh, farming level. And then I will be going over fruit trees, which includes all of these. Now, the best way to get your farming up on a main or iron man the fact that I'm an Iron Man doesn't really matter because you're going to be doing this the same on a main account. This is the quickest way to get your farming level up is to be doing these tree runs per day. Now, none of these trees require a quest except one location, which I will discuss. Okay, now I also want to say that there, there are some high recommendations is one, graceful, two, Paying to protect your trees. Each tree you can pay the gardener to watch over it. I'm doing really low level tree content, so I'm not paying for most of them except one. That's just a personal preference. Another thing is to have a lot of quests completed because there are a couple methods to get to certain locations where quests will be extremely useful. Okay, so let's get started for normal trees is going to be in Falador Park. As you can see, I have a maple tree right here. We're just going to go ahead and check the health. Now, you can chop this maple tree down and dig it up, or you can pay the gardener to chop down your tree for you. That's faster, so I personally prefer that. And since I'm not paying the gardener to watch over this tree, I'm simply going to get some super compost um, to help ensure that this tree will survive. Also, if you have a really high magic level, there is a resurrect crop that is in the Archaeus spellbook. You may see me using that at a certain time. Next, we're going to go to the next location, which is in Taverly. And I'm going to go ahead and show you all on video how to get there from the location that we just were. We were in the Falador Park, and we're just going to run northwest. And we're going to take this path. And the great thing about these two locations is they don't require any quest and they're relatively close to each other, so it's really nice. But here's the other tree patch that we're gonna check out. Um, okay, we're gonna go ahead and check health. We're gonna pay and uh, replant and then put some compost on it. Like I said, if you're paying for the tree to be watched so it won't die. There's absolutely no reason you need to use compost. However, if you want to know what you need to pay your tree to keep it protected, it tells you the payment is apples, oranges, etc. below in the farming guide section. Okay, so the next tree is going to be in uh, Varrock. So if you teleport to the center of Varrock and you run north, there's going to be a tree patch and I have a dead one so I'm gonna go ahead and show how you can resurrect your crops okay so I go to the magic spell book I have the mage cape if you don't have the magic cape I highly recommend that you use your house teleports to get around you can use a ha house tab and you be on the Archaea spell book if you're not paying someone to watch your trees. If you're paying someone to watch these trees, um, definitely don't worry about this. But there's a resurrect crop option. It requires 78 magic, and it gives you another chance to, okay, that did not work. It gives you a chance to revive your tree. I got unlucky there, but you know, that happens. Um, I, like I said, I highly recommend that you pay for someone to watch your tree. That's not very, um, smart. I just, these, like I said, are low level trees for level 86, so I'm not too concerned. Okay, let's go to the next location, and that's going to be in Tree Gnome Stronghold. I'm using a seed pod to get there, which is from Monkey Madness 2, but basically I'm also going to go over the location as if you were just to get here. This is the Tree Gnome Stronghold, and the tree patch is right here where it says rare trees. So we're going to go ahead and go there. You can also use the uh, tr spirit trees that if you've completed the tree um, tree village quest, I believe, tree gnome village quest, um, you can use the spirit tree, which is right here, to travel here, and then you just run south, and um, the tree should be available here, and you'll just check the health. 
da, 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 and be doing the same process. Like I said, you can cut it down and bank the logs if you don't mind the time and you want the logs, or you can simply just pay the gardener and it makes things um, a lot faster to do it for you. Okay, and we're gonna go to the next location, which is going to be in Lumbridge. Um, let me go ahead and switch back to the normal spell book. So we're gonna be going to Lumbridge and that will be the next tree location for normal trees. You're gonna be running behind the castle. This one is a really easy location too because you can just use your home teleport. And we're gonna go ahead and do the same process with all the others. Pay to get it cut down. And uh, you pay the farmer if you need to. Okay, so that was all of the regular trees. Um, now I'm going to show you where to find location for fruit trees. There are five regular tree locations and five fruit tree locations. All of the regular tree patches do not require any quest. However, in order to get to all the five that I've showed you for regular trees, having quests completed really makes the tree um, run for regular trees faster. We're going to get to fruit trees and um, for the first fruit tree you there is a required quest and is more um, I said Mortania that's not it it's going to be we're going to check here do um, it's going to be Mornings in Part 1 and you're going to get this crystal seed that you can charge after completing the quest um, this is a lot, the most advanced patch. None of the other ones really require this difficult of a location or quest requirement. So no worries, it gets better, I promise. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and pay and get this thing up so we can continue. Um, but yeah, we're going to go uh, to all the other fruit trees and where that is all accessible. So first we're going to go to Tree Gnome Stronghold. It's where we work for one of the regular trees. There's also a fruit tree here, so that's also really convenient. Um, the fruit tree is going to be south of the King. Um, same location, Tree Gnome Stronghold. And we're going to go down and here is the fruit tree patch. Um, there's five patches in total. If you haven't done mornings in part one, you can do four, so it's not too bad and still great XP. Okay. Da, 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 da. Okay, uh, and you can pay, of course, the gardener. The next one is you going, the best way to get there is to take the spirit tree. You don't have to, but it's just a lot faster. Go to Tree Gnome Village. Uh, tree Gnome Village, I believe, is the quest that you also need to complete for the Spirit Tree um, uh, teleports. So anyway, you're going to go outside this gate, follow, follow Elkoi. Now, you don't need to do the quest to get to this axis of the um, regular fruit tree. Great, that's dead. Let's go ahead and try to revive it. But here is the location where this is at. Um, you can perhaps use a Castle Wars teleport and run north and go here or teleport to Artie and run south or to the monastery and run here. So there's many different locations that you can do this with. Let's go ahead and go to the ancient spell book. Oh my gosh, I went to the wrong one. That's really embarrassing. Um, Archaeus, sorry. Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and try to resurrect this tree. Uh, no luck, but that's just kind of good so if y'all know you have 78 magic that may be an option that you want to try but um it's probably better to just pay for your trees if you're an iron man like me and you get to high farming level uh you may want to do lower level plants like this and not have to worry about paying for them okay so we're going to go to the next location which is going to be in catherby so what i'm going to do from here is just go ahead and Take the spell book to standard, and we're going to go to um, use the Camelot teleport. Um, and we're going to go ahead and run uh, southeast. Um, you can also walk there. However, you know, it, this is just the quickest route that I'm showing you. All of my routes are optional. They're not required. The main part is showing you all where the locations are. Um, okay, so the Camelot... Uh, this is in Catherby, and we're going to have a fruit tree 
<clears throat> in this location over here. Okay, and it's going to be on the uh, the shore of the seashore of this area. Okay, I'm going to pay the gardener to chop it down just to save us some time. And I'm going to plant the next one. And the great thing about this is that um, the next location is in Brimhaven. That's where the next fruit tree is. And the great thing about this is um, it's, it's you can just take a boat from west of here and it'll take you to Brimhaven. Of course, you need to have some coins on you, so please be aware of that. But if you're paying the gardener to chop down your tree like I was, you should already have some coins on you. Okay. So we're going to go to Brimhaven, take this boat. Um, I would say taking the boat is the best way to get to Brimhaven. Uh, unless you have a spirit tree planted in this location. But yeah, here's the last uh, tree for the fruit tree. And, you know, I will tell you how many gains I got from farming just by doing my tree run. And uh, I'll let y'all know. Okay, so I'm going to put this pineapple. Okay, so from doing those tree runs, I got 26k XP, which is extremely good. They weren't even high level trees, but imagine how many XP gains you get per day doing low level farming and just doing tree runs. The thing I'm going to do is show you an optional um, location. So basically, there's a Calquat tree. Um, if you've ever seen a Calquat seed, basically, you can plant that seed in a pot and it will make a Calquat. Um, sapling and the great thing about these seeds is that their uh, calquats are extremely cheap because they're so common and the great thing about it is that you um, basically get 15 I think tw or sorry 12,000 XP from these and they take about a day to grow and since it's so cheap it's super cheap farming XP so I highly suggest that you try put this tree into your tree run it's definitely worth it um 12k xp a day is fantastic now i'm up to 39k xp gained from this farm run so it's not a normal tree it's a very bizarre tree but you may want to add this into your farm runs the only requirement i believe is tai bui wani trio um and if it's not that it's jungle potion uh, I don't quote me on that. I just wanted to put that in my video because it's fantastic uh, XP per day, and I I go ahead and pay to protect it with um, the eight poison ivy berries. So I hope you guys really enjoy this video. That's how I do my farming runs. You can get some farming is an extremely quick skill if you do these tree runs every day. Um, also, if you're interested on the herb run guide, I have. I have that on my channel somewhere if you want to look into that, but that's another way to get herbs or make money if you're a main. So I hope you guys like this guide and um, please like and subscribe if you subscribe if you enjoyed this video and if you want to catch up with me on my new content.